If you thought the Rubik's Cube was cool, you're gonna love this. I'm happy as can be. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated movies of the 1980s. For this list, we've looked at all animated films released within the decade and have selected those that achieved the most success, were the most original, and advanced the animation industry furthest. Like it or not, we are allies now. We're only looking at feature-length films, however, so no shorts. And we're also omitting live-action hybrids, so sorry Who Framed Roger Rabbit fans. Well, at least you took it well. This is part of a series of videos spanning the decades of animated movies from the 1920s to the 2000s. Ah, oh, come on, old timer. Number 10, The Land Before Time. I don't understand, mother. <laughs> you will, my son. Dino enthusiast Steven Spielberg worked as producer on our first film, a movie that he imagined as Bambi only with dinosaurs. In many ways, his vision was perfectly realized with The Land Before Time, and the story of Littlefoot, an orphaned apatosaurus who's forced to find his way in life alone. Littlefoot, let your heart guide you. It whispers, so listen closely. Though the only feature within the series to enjoy a theatrical release, the adventure drama inspired 12 straight-to-video sequels and a multi-million dollar franchise. Yep, that is what it is. Yep, yep, yep. Clearly, Spielberg knew he was on to a good thing. Jurassic Park happened five years later. <laughs> Number 9. An American Tale His tail? was a mile long. Another Spielbergian effort, An American Tale, was the acclaimed movie man's first foray into animation. He just stepped on my tail. Working alongside respected animator Don Bluth, Spielberg was said to be amazed at just how complicated and time-consuming the process really was. But Tony, I can't tell time! Nevertheless, the finished product was something to be very proud of. Detailing the story of Fievel Mouskowitz, his Russian family, and the problems they encounter as they immigrate to America, it was adorable and eye-opening all at the same time. I knew you were alive! I knew it! <laughs> oh, my little boy back from the dead. America. <laughs> what a place. Number 8. Grave of the Fireflies It looks like a firefly. Set during the final stages of World War II, the story of Seta and Setsuko is a little difficult to watch at times. She's finally fallen asleep. Though its status as an anti-war picture is continuously debated, it certainly provides a harsh and bleak representation of life in general. Don't you realize that there's a war going on? It's a movie that's all about individual stories rather than overriding social problems and it does not shy away from sincerity or sadness. Now Dad's gone too. He's dead too. Dad. Grave of the Fireflies struggled at the box office because of its challenging themes, but is consistently considered an all-time great in animation regardless. <laughs> Time for bed, okay? okay? Number seven, Castle in the Sky. How kind of you. The first film ever to be produced and released by Studio Ghibli, Castle in the Sky represents a significant moment in the history of animation. This is a sacred place where only royalty is allowed to enter. Ghibli has become arguably the greatest producer of Japanese anime in the world. While this film's director, Hayao Miyazaki, is probably the art form's most famous name. Help! It's alive! It's after us! Run for your life! It's the robot! Just as Laputa is a source of wonder in this movie, Castle in the Sky was a source of inspiration for animators everywhere. Laputa. Shita and Patsu opened our eyes to a whole new approach. Shita? Patsu. And we liked what we saw. Number six, Akira. You tried to mess with me. 
and now I'm gonna kill you! Another anime classic, Akira is also considered a milestone in Japanese animation. No! Don't! Stay <laughs> Directed by Katsuhiro Otomo and based upon his manga epic of the same name, the movie tells the story of teenage biker Tetsuo Shima and his quest to free the confined psychic Akira. Where is he? Where's this Akira? Tell me now! A dystopian Tokyo is brought to life in breathtaking detail as Otomo imagines the year 2019 in a unique and kind of unsettling way. What in the world is happening here in Neo Tokyo? What you see here seems to be fires caused by tank cannons. A pioneer for the success of anime outside of Japan, Akira was and is incredible. <laughs> Number 5. Kiki's Delivery Service. Aim your boomstick. Another Miyazaki landmark. Kiki's Delivery Service would also become the first picture to be released under the distribution partnership between Studio Ghibli and the Walt Disney Company. The American giant had seen the potential in Japanese animation and quite clearly wanted to get in on the action. Look at this city! A place like this would be great to live in! But there may be some witches living here already. The eponymous Kiki is a witch trying to earn her way in the city. It's a movie that combines the realms of fantasy and reality in a typically Miyazaki way. Oh, it's a miracle! Oh, oh, the goodness. young boy has somehow managed to keep his hold on the rope! And it's a movie that should make any animation countdown with ease. She got him! She saved the young the Number 4. The Great Mouse Detective Frankly, I expected you 15 minutes earlier. The first fully Disney effort to gain inclusion on our list, The Great Mouse Detective is another important film within the ever-changing animated landscape of the 80s. See what you can do with the proper motivation? Following the relative disappointment of The Black Cauldron in 85, I won't fail you. Basil, Professor Radigan and company were burdened with the tricky task of stamping Disney's authority once again. Radigan, no one can have a higher opinion of you than I have. For the most part, the rodents were successful. All in a day's work, Doctor. Set in Victorian England and heavily influenced by the Sherlock Holmes stories, this movie had magic, mystery, and mice. The greatest <laughs> detective <laughs> in all mouse to It just couldn't fail. You know what will happen if you uh, fail. Number three, The Fox and the Hound. It's just a little run now, but he'll grow. The only movie made in the first half of the decade to make our grade today, was there ever a more poignant portrayal of friendship than The Fox and the Hound? I'm a fox. My name's Todd. What's your name, kid? Mine's Copper. I'm a hound dog. Todd and Copper promise to always be friends forever. Copper, you're my very best friend. And you're mine too, Todd. And we'll always be friends forever, won't we? Yeah, forever. But in the innocence of their youth, they just don't realize how difficult that will be. Gee, I just wanted to say goodbye to Copper. But I'm too late. Two animals that aren't meant to be best mates, they're destined to drift apart, with dangerous consequences. Oh no, Todd! <laughs> All we can do is watch, hope, and hold back the tears. Get out of the way. Number two, my neighbor Totoro. Totoro? Is that what your name is? Totoro? Hayao Miyazaki built an animation empire in the 80s, and this was his crowning glory. Who are you? A great big soup gremlin? My neighbor Totoro was released theatrically as part of a double bill with Grave of the Fireflies, but fared a little better than its brother due to its more lighthearted themes. He was furry with a great big mouth. An intensely natural picture, the plot revolves around a father, his two daughters, and the mystical keeper of the forest, Totoro. Dad, may said that she saw a Totoro here. An iconic creature now synonymous with Japanese animation, Totoro's a neighbor we all wish we had. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Do not grieve. 
Soon, I shall be one with the Matrix. Nim is coming. Come, come, let's return to the rose bush. Nim is coming. Nim! In the morning. Nim? Yes. You will all die unless you leave the farm tonight. The princess is wearing a blue dress that I've never seen before. It looks like she's walking through a golden field. Number one, The Little Mermaid. Under the sea. Under the sea. Even after The Great Mouse Detective, Disney struggled to gain a stronghold at the cinema. But that all changed with The Little Mermaid. Have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow. The story of Ariel and her dreams of becoming human proved a huge hit and inspired the celebrated Disney Renaissance. Just look at her! On legs! On human legs! Nine more films would be made in the following ten years that reconfirmed Disney as the daddy. Yes, hurry home, princess. We wouldn't want to miss old daddy's celebration, now would we? But it all started under the sea with a mass of marine characters that made one hell of a splash. I'll swim up to his castle, then Flounder will splash around to get his attention, and then Down we'll go... Down here is your home! She wanted to be part of our world, and boy did she become that. Wish I could be part of that world. Do you agree with our list? Hey, you all right? Yeah, I guess so. Which 80s classic did we miss? For more memorable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. But I've made other plans. I'm taking it all. Thank <music> you.